So, this leads us to the most important question of our lifetimes. <laughs> no. Who will win, climate change or us? To answer this question, we need to ask two more questions. Can we power our lives with far less CO2? And if the answer to that is yes, will we choose to do it? Answering the first question, that's pretty straightforward. The second, well, that depends on a few things. One of them is you. So, question one. Scientists say that to protect ourselves from the worst effects of climate change, we need to make sure average global temperatures don't rise more than two degrees Celsius. And we've already gone up almost one degree. Yikes! That means we need to cut our fossil fuel habit fast. How are we gonna do that? Let's break it down. Most of the fossil fuels we burn are used to make electricity and move us around. So wouldn't it be great if some giant brain geniuses could invent ways to power our buildings, devices, and cars without using fossil fuels? We already have. Check it out. Most electricity is made by turning a turbine connected to a generator. Power plants that use fossil fuels make this happen by burning coal or natural gas, which heats water, which makes steam, which spins the turbine. Steam sounds a little old fashioned, right? It is. Because you can also turn a turbine with wind or water. Or you can skip the turbine altogether and, like a tree, pull energy directly from the sun with solar panels. These are called renewable energy sources because they never run out, unlike fossil fuels, which will eventually run out. And CO2? There's none of that. What about getting around? You still need gas, right? Less and less. Electric trains and buses are already moving people around many cities, and many more are joining in. Electric cars used to look like golf carts, but now some of the fastest, best-performing cars in the world are electric. And if you produce electricity from renewable sources, then these cars can truly run CO2 free. So we can make better energy, but we also can use amazing technology that demands much less of it. This LED light bulb uses one sixth of the energy of this old fashioned one. This insulation is so good at keeping indoor temperatures comfortable, people can use their heater or AC less. And millions of people who have realized it's more important to live well than live large are choosing to bike rather than drive, finding more exciting things to do than shop, and are taking pride in wasting less. All of this cuts down on our need for energy. So one question, Chance. Yeah? Building all this wind and solar, all this insulation, new light bulbs, how is our country going to afford this? Switching over to renewable energy actually creates way more well-paying jobs than sticking with fossil fuels. It's a huge opportunity for new businesses to grow, invent, and thrive. And the change costs less than a lot of people think. Renewables are getting cheaper fast. In fact, in more and more places, renewable energy now costs less than old-fashioned fossil fuels. Economists say that climate change is already costing our country hundreds of billions of dollars a year, and it's getting worse. Not making the switch is what's really expensive. It costs money to connect everyone with telephone lines, to build America's highways, to build colleges and hospitals, and to create the internet. But these things made life better. And isn't that what money's for? Okay, we've got the answer to the first question. Can we do it? Yes. With technology we've already invented, we've got a great start, and it will only get better as we invent more. But what about the second question? Will we choose to?